This week on Gun Talk. We're in South Louisiana, where the VADA group will be training police officers. Six men were hand-picked to train using the AR-15 carbine. The skills that will be taught today not only will train these officers and others in their departments, but will also help one of them take home a brand new AR-15. Cops, six departments, new AR-15s from Ruger, Stag, Rock River, Smith & Wesson, and Colt. For these officers, the AR-15 is an important piece of equipment. The AR is, is a more efficient weapon because of its uh, ammo capacity, the ballistics of the 223. It's one single projectile. If you load it with tap rounds, you don't have a problem with collateral damage. Police work is unpredictable. Today's outlaws can be heavily armed. The criminals use several different types of guns, some as small as a 22 up to an AK-47. The AR-15 is a game changer. It gives the officer an alternate means to defend himself and the other innocent public while out there performing his job, his job and his duties. It, it's actually a whole lot better for the department. With backgrounds in law enforcement and the military, Destin Mounts and Greg Lappin from the VADA Group are experts with the AR-15 platform. Uh, basically today we're putting together a couple of more advanced drills uh, for law enforcement officers. Uh, these guys that we got out here are more advanced shooters. They've been uh, law enforcement officers with uh, you know, a special reaction team or a SWAT team for a while. And we're doing a couple different drills just to get them thinking outside of the box and uh, you know, increase their survivability. Now the officers are going to practice shooting from unconventional positions using this car as cover. Things like tires, engine blocks, and axles are great ways to stop incoming fire. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be utilizing the vehicles for cover. Should they find themselves in a, in a uh, lethal engagement with their vehicle, we're going to go over the urban prone, fetal prone, and then junkyard or SBU squat position to maximize their coverage of the vehicle. So what we're going to be going over here, guys, is uh, some unconventional shooting positions utilizing your vehicle for cover. Vehicle is not excellent cover, and if we have the option to get behind actual hard cover, we want to take it and use it. But if this is all we have at the moment until we can move to a better position, we want to know how to use it to the best of our advantage. Uh, a couple of you guys have pointed out that you're familiar with the urban prone, the fetal prone. Um, we want to be used to these positions. We don't want to find ourselves in one of these positions for the first time in a gunfight. All right, gunfight's a bad time to learn stuff. So the first one we're gonna demonstrate is the urban prone. Now, if you look at his torso and his arms, does it look any different than his standing position? Not really, it's like we took him and laid him down on the side. The real important thing is your top leg is always in front. The other thing he's doing is he's driving his knee and his lower portion of his leg into the ground. He's opening up his back leg. It gives him a lot of lateral stability. He can engage this target. And look at the recoil management. I mean, he doesn't even move. This is better than standing. You've got so much friction on the ground. The fetal prone, basically what he's doing is he's maximizing his coverage of that whole axle wheel well area. He's placing his feet up, and now again, look at his torso from his waistline up. Does it look any different than a standing position? No. It's very important that you don't cover your feet with your muzzle on this. We're advanced shooters here. 
all right? And with these more advanced drills, the safety risk goes up a little bit. So he's in his good body position, his feet are on the tire, and he's gonna go ahead and engage, watch him, watch his body. Almost no recoil at all. Just watch Destin's body position real quick. What he's gonna utilize, he's gonna utilize the squat position. He's gonna then canch his rifle all the way completely horizontal. Now what is this doing? Creating a smaller target, making your barrel sight relation now on a horizontal plane rather than a vertical plane. So he can get as low as he can to that vehicle hood. All he's projecting is basically his eyes up. So this will allow you to get as low as you possibly can, squat down, not worry about shooting your vehicle and getting fast, accurate rounds on target. Does that make sense? All right, so Destin's gonna go ahead. He's gonna get into a squat position. He's got his, his weapon canted nice and flat, and he's gonna engage both pieces of steel with three rounds. Stand by, gun! All right, now, if you guys noticed, look at his stock weld. It's jammed right into his bicep, all right? Your other option is too, is resting it on top of your shoulder. What he's doing is he's basically creating a fulcrum here and he's cranking down on that hand, anchoring it into the top of his shoulder. And as you can see, it's still very stable, not a whole lot of recoil. Coming up, the officers get comfortable with the shooting positions. Then, they work drills which can help them survive on today's mean streets.